Well, I'm in some forlorn industrial district in Kansas City in the West Bottoms area. Now, the reason I'm starting the video here is see that railroad track? That is the state line. I am on the Missouri side, and if I go across this railroad track, that's Kansas. Now, I'm close to downtown. You can't see it really well, but it's over here. But when the wife and I started on this trip some nine months ago, I sort of kind of mapped out a plan for the drive for the lower 48. And we had always planned, and still do, for Kansas to be the last state, the 48th state. So I can't go over there, because I want this to be the last state. So I'm going to stay on this side of Kansas City, Kansas City, Missouri, Kansas City, Kansas. So I'm going to head up, make a right at that stop sign, and go into downtown. There's the Bronco. Gonna hop in now. But yeah, Kansas is a no-go. <laughs> that will be the last state. Interesting area here though. Believe it or not, there's some uh, development here in terms of entertainment. There's quite a few hip bars in the area. A lot of rundown buildings here. But it is an interesting place. I like it. There's a couple buildings from downtown there. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna head that way now. Yeah, I'm gonna cruise up the street, tell you a little bit about Kansas City. If I can somehow dodge these gigantic potholes. <laughs> Woo, look at those. The, that will screw up some tires, rims, and suspension, hitting a few of those. But I'm gonna go over them slowly. Anyway, so as I cruise along the uh, Kansas-Missouri border here on the Missouri side, we'll talk a little bit about Kansas City. Kansas City, Missouri has uh, 508,000 people in it. Kansas City, Kansas, there to the left, has 156,000 people. Ooh, look at these roads. Not good, are they? Anyway, uh, so yes, Kansas City, Missouri is much larger. It may surprise you to know that Kansas City, Missouri was founded first. And Kansas City, Kansas came after. I would have thought the other way, but nope. It, be, it was Kansas City, Missouri and spread out from there. Now the metro area of both cities is 2.2 million. Um, oh boy, I'm trying to drive over this. Anyway, yeah, 2.2 million, so that's 31st in the United States. It's a good sized city, not huge. Um, the downtown, from what I understand, is supposed to be pretty awesome. In fact, Forbes magazine ranked the downtown of Kansas City among the top 10 in the country. Now, apparently, years ago, it was pretty anemic but the city set to work to bring people downtown and now some 35,000 people I believe live in the downtown area so uh, it's become quite vibrant down there from, from what I understand so we're gonna go see that now as we drive through this interesting warehouse district got some artwork here and there all right so yeah I'm gonna head into downtown now you can see it there the skyline or the buildings poking above it's kind of an interesting place though isn't it Yeah, clearly a very old warehouse district. It's not fully developed though. Uh, yeah, look at this area here. 
That building is clearly uh, abandoned and empty. I'm gonna need to work on that a little bit, eh? Huh. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna head over there now and get out on foot. Now I'm cruising up a hill towards downtown. A lot of interesting uh, artwork here on this um, concrete wall. I'm gonna take a quick look at it. Yeah, more about the downtown. It is the sixth fastest growing in the United States. So yeah, Kansas City has really put some effort into becoming an urban city. A little bit of a crime problem here. We'll talk about that later. But Kansas City is known for a couple of things. The barbecue, of course, which this Texan can appreciate and uh, jazz music. So uh, a lot of interesting history in Kansas City. But first, let's go downtown and take a look. All right, heading in now. Kansas City is uh, also known as the City of Fountains because, uh, well, there's a lot of fountains in the town. So, I'm looking forward to seeing some of those. A lot of this is residential. Many of these old buildings sat empty, from what I understand, for quite a while, and the city put forth initiatives to get people moved into them, converted to apartments, make it livable, and they have quite a bit of success, because as I said earlier, there's something like 35, 40,000 people living down here. That's quite a, quite a good amount for a city this size. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, find a place to park here in a second. Cruise this way a little bit more. Not a lot of people down here, is there? It is a Wednesday, about 10 in the morning. I don't know if that uh, makes any difference. Okay, I want to find a place to park. Okay, so I'm walking down uh, an older part of downtown. It's really nice. But boy, it's really quiet. Alright, so one of the first fountains that I've seen. Yeah, there's a tram. Runs through the city. I gotta tell you guys though, it sure is quiet. I mean, I'm right in the heart of downtown. And they're just, there's not much down here. Wednesday, it's about 10.30. Not quite lunchtime, I suppose. Maybe it's because it's residential and everybody's at work. A lot of interesting noises though, huh? <laughs> I hear a church bell ringing. Beautiful old building here in the downtown. Also right here, there's a clock. How awesome is that, huh? Harkens back into another time. No pun intended. And there's something else interesting across the street. Yeah, downtown temperature. <laughs> I don't know how old that is, but that's been here for a long time. You can see it's mid 70s today. It's very comfortable. I like this building. Uh, 
that's pretty nifty. Got a few trees down here. I'm still on the fence as to whether this is one of the 10 best downtowns in the country. Because there's sure no foot traffic. It's pretty nice though, they got some trees here and there, which you want to see. I don't know, what do you guys think? What do you think of this downtown? I'm right here in the middle of it. I'm at Walnut and 11th. Right amongst the tallest buildings in the city. I mean, I can just walk right out on the street. Not much here in the way of people. Mm. Yeah, look at all these skyscrapers. There's nothing down here. It's very quiet. Now, someone may comment that it's because it's early, not lunch yet, but look, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I go to downtowns a lot, and many downtowns are busy constantly. Yeah, this one. Sorry, Kansas City, but uh, there's just no folks here. And I am in the heart of downtown. And you can see the buildings, the tallest in the city, are right here at this intersection. There's a Pickleman's sandwich shop, but it doesn't even look open. I see a couple guys in there cutting meat, it looks like. Maybe they just opened for lunch. Let me see what time it is. Uh, it's 10.42. So not quite lunch. But there is hardly anybody down here. Right over here is the Kansas City Power and Light District. It is the entertainment district of the city. A lot of shops, retail, venues for concerts. Not much going on now, but I would guess that in the evenings and the weekends, it's a hopping place. A bit slow right now though. Now the river's this way. I'm gonna Go down there and take a look. On my way to the river, I saw this huge mural. The Lewis and Clark Expedition, 1804. That is pretty, pretty awesome. Amazing, really. You couldn't miss it driving past it. It's clearly a very vibrant warehouse district at one time. That's something, isn't it? People actually live here. There's apartments. I've seen uh, seen them out walking their dogs. Live, uh, and they live here. Swing around and take a look. That's interesting. It would be interesting to live in a place like this, wouldn't it? I wonder what, if there's a problem with crime or anything. Yeah, you can see a girl. Oh, we just missed her. Yeah, just walking her dog. Wow. Huh. 
amazing. I was actually here at the beginning of the video, went into downtown and now I'm back because I gotta be perfectly honest with you guys. This part of town is the most interesting in the city, I think. It's fascinating what they're doing here. Huh. Alright, that's State Street. On the other side there is Kansas. So I can't go there. I was coming over here so I could uh, attempt to see the river. Here, I'll show you my GPS here. You can see where I am in the middle of frame and uh, that line here that's the uh, state line Kansas here Missouri here and I want to go to the river so I could take a look at where the two rivers merge but uh, alas there's no way down to the river I'm gonna have to go back the other direction but anyway yeah West Bottoms that is the district that I'm in it's really interesting here because you've got bars and upscale retail you've even got housing and apart uh, warehouses and look at the area though it's still very much warehouse industrial amazing I mean this this is the most interesting part of the city you can see downtown up there I can get to the river down here the Missouri River I won't be able to see where uh, the Kansas runs into it unfortunately because that is in Kansas but oh well all right there it is the Missouri River a little bit windy here might get some wind shear it may surprise you to know that this is the longest river in the United States yeah longer than the Mississippi it begins in Montana in the Rocky Mountains makes its way through the country of course through or past Missouri here Kansas City and it empties into the Mississippi so it's a big long grand river Mississippi gets all the attention but yeah the Missouri River this one right here is the longest in the country now I was trying to get up there where the Kansas City I'm sorry the Kansas City where the Kansas River empties into it that's right up there but uh, you know a couple minutes ago when I was at the border but, but the only way to see it is to get in Kansas and as you know I am not stepping foot into Kansas until I arrive at it as the last state in our travels the 48th state of course Hawaii and Alaska will be the last two but Kansas will be the last of the 48 so I'm sticking with it yeah real nice area here uh, you could maybe see the buildings from downtown poking out above here yeah there they are middle of frame cool over there on that side now that's Kansas by the way over there it's not developed at all it's just like it was <laughs> hundreds of years ago something to be said for that but anyway Missouri has developed their side lots and lots of apartment complexes buildings being built here all over pretty nice though all right I've got one more street a street that the people of Kansas City know well that I'm going to drive down and while I'm driving down it I'm going to talk about the crime in Kansas City which has gotten pretty bad as I'm driving to the next place a little bit more information about Kansas City like I said earlier it is the city of fountains 
with over 200. I've only seen two. Kind of disappointed in that, but I'm guessing it's because maybe they're spread out. And also, one other thing that I found interesting. In 1910, Kansas City had over 200 brothels. So, back in those days, it was a very boom, or, well, how else do you say it, but it was a booming business. At the traffic lights, turn left onto East 3rd Street, then turn right onto Cherry Street. All right, thank you for that, Australian Siri. Yeah, it was a booming business, and uh, unfortunately, I wanted to, you know, a lot of the former brothels have been torn down. I really wanted to maybe see some of them, but... Uh, yeah, that sucks. Alright, so next place is coming up. Alright, I am turning onto a street called Troost Avenue. Now, like many other cities, uh, Kansas City has had uh, a pretty harsh racial divide. And this street is literally the physical embodiment of it. I'm heading south on it right now, but as I understand it, white people lived on the right side as I'm heading down, and uh, African Americans lived on the left. Uh, of course, in the early and mid 1900s, from what I understand, realtors wouldn't sell to black folk on the right side of the road here. Kansas City has a crime problem. Uh, in 2021, the FBI ranked it the eighth most dangerous city in the United States. And sadly, it's the second city in Missouri in that top 10 ranking. St. Louis is number one. Forbes Magazine for 2021 came out with a ranking as well for the most dangerous cities and they factored in the cost to victims and the cost to local communities and they ranked Kansas City ninth. So Kansas City does have a problem with crime. A lot of it is concentrated off this street. Mostly to uh, to the left, the east side. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, drive down the street a little bit. We'll take a look at it. go a little farther down see what we can see so you'll run across some old abandoned buildings and then you'll see newer apartment buildings. There's a new apartment building under construction right there. And then you'll come across an area where it's just abandoned. So it's an interesting mix. So this is 39th Street. Cutting the left here, as I understand it, would lead me to the uh, very worst parts of town. I'm not gonna go down there. Think I've seen enough. I'm gonna head back to the hotel. Um, I'm gonna get this video ready and up and uh, it'll probably three or four days before you see another one because we're gonna take a few days in Dallas and uh, then we'll be heading out west and north. We'll be hitting Colorado, Denver first, then we're heading up into Wyoming and Montana, the Dakotas, uh, Nebraska, and then finally, the last state, Kansas, or the last of the 48, let's put it that way. So. Yeah, there it is. I'm 
I'm gonna sign off now and uh, about a week or so a little less be looking for our videos in the great western part of the US it's gonna be fun